Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to perform DNS enumeration with Nmap. Now, when we talk about DNS enumeration, um, you know, we, there's multiple ways of looking at it, uh, but of course, you look at it through two different lenses. One of them is through, uh, you know, passive techniques, and the other is through active techniques that involve actively engaging or interacting with the target. Now, when it comes down to the various Nmap scripts that are at your disposal uh, when you know interacting or trying to get information from DNS. Uh, if I list out the Nmap scripts here, so you know again, user, user share, Nmap, and we say Nmap and scripts, and again I'll just pipe and grep, and we'll use an expression. We'll just say DNS, and this is going to list out all our DNS scripts. So you can see that Nmap has quite a few, and uh, I'm simply going to be covering the most important ones or the most important ones in my own eyes. Uh, in terms of the information they can give you. And this video is going to be primarily dealing with active information gathering because we're going to be taking a look at performing a DNS zone transfer. And that is going to be done using the zone transfer.nsc script and then DNS brute, right? So the reason I'm going to be covering these two scripts is because, again, they, they're they are pretty much going to give us the most important information because when we're dealing with DNS, the passive aspect uh, of, D of uh, you know, DNS en enumeration or DNS information gathering primarily deals with uh, getting the name servers. And then after you get that, you're pretty much trying to, to, to actually see if you can perform a zone transfer to, to, to get a list of all the records on that, on that DNS server or that name server. Uh, or you then resort to brute forcing, which is also quite effective most of the time. In fact, it's more effective than uh, getting a zone transfer because a zone transfer is an, uh, is an attack that, uh, that actually works off a miscon uh, of a misconfiguration because zone transfer technology is actually is, is, a, uh, is an ethical technique that is used by administrators uh, to actually copy uh, DNS records from one from one server onto the other. So again, if, if this is allowed, if we can actually uh, find a server or a target where th this is actually allowed, then that means we can get the entire list of records that is currently on that DNS server. And then with brute forcing, again, we specify a word list and that will allow us to, to actually go through all the entries on that list. And then if any of them matches, we're able to get them. So it's a fairly simple thing to understand. Now, when it comes to the word lists and uh, the, the word lists that we're going to be using, uh, we are going to be using sec lists, which is pretty much the, the, the standard, the de facto standard when it comes down to uh, word lists for discovery, fuzzing, uh, in terms of passwords, payloads, uh, usernames, etc. So again, I'll just take you through the about section because it's quite self-explanatory. So again, it tells us sec lists is the security tester's companion. It's a collection of multiple types of lists used during security assessments collected in one place. Um, so again, if in our case, if we go to discovery, you can see there will be a DNS directory right over here. So again, these DNS lists are extremely helpful. My personal favorite is the fierce host list, which again allows me to uh, enumerate quite a few hosts and I'll be I'll actually be showing you how to do this. So in this video, we're going to be introducing a few new concepts with Nmap scripts. One of them, of course, is going to be the use of uh, your script arguments, which are very useful. Uh, script arguments are uh, unique to to Nmap scripts, and they essentially allow you to, to, to provide arguments that you can run uh, for a particular script. So let's say in the uh, DNS zone transfer script, uh, uh, a script argument that we would need to provide would be uh, the DNS zone transfer domain, the domain that we actually want to perform this zone transfer on. So uh, again, to do this, we'll just say Nmap, and uh, we'll specify the port as port 53. This uh, zone transfers are done. Uh, via the DNS port, which is port 53 uh, via TCP. So Nmap port, port 53, and then we say script, and the, the script is going to be DNS um, zone um, transfer. Uh, let me just make sure that is correct. Yes, that is correct. And uh, we then specify the script argument. So that can be done by typing in script args. And again, when we specify script arguments, uh, regardless of how many scripts we are using, we need to specify the script or uh, of whom we are providing the arguments to. So again, when we say script arguments, we then specify the script that we are providing the arguments for. So zone, um, zone, tr zone transfer, and then we specify the argument, which is zone transfer dot domain, and the domain is going to be equal to. Uh, we will we are going to be using zone transfer dot me. All right. So zone transfer dot me is a website that is uh, really cool for teaching you how to perform uh, DNS based attacks, DNS zone transfers, etc. So again. 
you can use it uh, and you can you can also use you know popular tools like dig and fierce uh, in our case i'm showing you how to do it with nmap so we'll just specify the domain as zone transfer uh, dot me so zone transfer dot me just i'm just going to hit enter if that tells us that uh, no hosts were up i'll just specify uh ping only hit enter um it looks like uh, we have an issue here so let me just get rid of my port here and we hit enter and it's still giving us issues so i'm not really sure whether that host is up but uh, we can specify our own domain um so again it's it's going to be very unlikely that you'll find a um a website that um that like is actually vulnerable to to zone transfers uh in in most cases if we try and specify the server so if i go to the um uh, sorry not the nmap scan me if i go to you know something like duckduckgo.com let me just open up my search engine here uh, the reason i'm using duckduckgo is because i'm running through a proxy at the moment so if i search for nmap uh, dns zone transfer uh zone transfer and uh i'll just open up the nmap documentation page here that is the nse script we can also we can actually specify the name server that uh again we we will we will want to use so you can see that to specify the port we need to specify the argument dns zone transfer dot port right which again we'll do that shortly um and then of course we can specify the uh, any of the other the, the other arguments so again i'll just i'll so sorry let me just uh, go back here i didn't want to open that one. so i'll just copy this right and we'll specify that as an additional uh, argument so zone transfer dot me zone transfer dot domain and we'll just paste it right over here and the port is going to be equal to port 53 let's try that now it looks like uh fail to resolve that is still a script argument. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we'll specify the comma here. So we'll just hit enter. So it looks like we still get a no hosts up. So if we specify the, um, let's see, we can actually just put a comma here and then specify the the DNS server, uh, DNS zone transfer server. Sorry, no, that keeps on taking me, keep on clicking on the open link here. So we'll just paste that in there, right? And say that is going to be equal to, we then specify the server, which we have right over here. And this is the first one. So that is going to be uh, nsztm1.digi.ninja, I believe. Sorry, uh, I keep making mistakes with my mouse today. Um, so I'll just copy that and uh, we'll paste that in there and hit enter, right? So um, let's see, looks like we have an issue here. So script arguments um that should work now because we're specifying the server um so there we are we're able to perform our zone transfer and wow we have a ton of records here so first of all we get the soa hardware info we have a few txt records and then we get our mail servers right so uh right over our mail exchanges whatever you want to call them and from this we're able to deduce that uh, you know this target is running a google mail or gmail or g suite and then we have an A record for the domain, which we already know. We have the two name servers. So it's nsztm1 and S, uh, nsztm2.digininja. Um, let's see. We also have um, a pointer. So that uh, actually points uh, right over here to the domain zone transfer.me. We have another A record pointing to a subdomain. So again, I'm not going to take you through uh, DNS enumeration and the information you can gather, but again, performing a zone transfer will expose the entire dns or all the the dns records and as i said this is going to be highly unlikely on uh, on you know on modern environments which is where you typically turn to brute forcing so when it when it comes down to brute forcing uh, again the, the script is very simple to use and i recommend that you use uh, various word lists within the sec lists list all right so uh, let, let's get started so uh, to perform this scan, we're just going to say nmap script again, and we're going to say DNS brute, right? So that is the name of the script. And then our um, uh, script arguments are going to be script um, args, and uh, they are going to be DNS uh, brute. Remember, we have to specify the script here, and we say DNS brute dot uh, host list, and the host list is going to be equal to, let me just open up a new tab here. So lsal will say, I'll go to my word list directory. So user share nmap 
uh, sorry, user share word lists, and we're going to go into sec lists, and we're looking for discovery, and under DNS, we're looking for the fierce host list. So we're just going to copy that directory. Um, so I'll just say copy selection, and uh, we'll paste it right over here. So we have specified the, the directory um, to this particular host list. Now, this is quite a large list of, uh, of, of domains or records that, you know, we could potentially find. So it's going to take a while. And again, when I say that, we can also specify another uh, another argument here. Uh, so we can also specify the th uh, the amount of threads we want to use. And uh, again, we can do that right over here. So what I'll do is I'll just add it here. So we'll add about five threads just to keep things nice and simple. So we'll say uh, DNS brute dot threads. And uh, we're going to keep that to five. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to skip uh, we're just going to add the comma there and uh, we're going to hit enter. So uh, looks like we have an issue here. And oh yeah, we need to specify our domain. How foolish of me. All right. So zone transfer will perform the same scan zone transfer on me. So now we're going to assume that uh, zone transfer technology is uh, or is disabled, right? So we can also run this on any domain in the world, right? Uh, however, you do, you do need to keep in mind that this is an active scan in that you're directly engaging with the target and you're performing a brute force. So you need permission to do this. All right. So in, in this case, zone transfer has given us the permission. So we'll just hit enter. And um, I'm uh, just going to looks like it's blocking our probes. So I'll just go back here and we'll say PN and we'll hit enter. So I'm just going to let this script uh, run. And uh, when it's done, I'll get back to you. All right, so the scan is complete. And you can see it took about 755 seconds, which is uh, really not that long. Uh, however, we get our results, you can see um, from the brute force and given the list that we used, uh, we were we were able to get a few important records here, we we're able to get uh, the email dot zone transfer dot me VPN dot zone transfer dot me office.zonetransfer.me, etc, etc. It's not going to be as extensive as uh, a zone, the results you'll get from a zone transfer. And that's understandable because you're pretty much dealing with a, a mixed bag here. Uh, and uh, the variables uh, that you need to control are going to be the list. And of course, you, your target will respond differently uh, based on the type of list you use. Uh, and of course, if there are any protection features in place, then they might be detected. So you need to keep your brute force um, speeds or, or the intensity of your brute force relatively low. And again, uh, the list that you use will determine what you get. So you again, you can experiment with the, the all the lists available under the sec lists um, uh, DNS category right over here. And uh, again, it's all about um, it's all about experimentation, and finding the sweet spot uh, in terms of what you like and what you feel is appropriate. So again, uh, Seclist is a must have for any penetration tester. The link to this will be added as a resource to this video. And that is pretty much all that I wanted to cover in regards to DNS enumeration with Nmap uh, and more specifically with Nmap scripts. So that's going to be it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.